Cam shafts inspection and how to do this cam shaft inspection and there is really this part and this part they are cam shaft and this is x housed manifold cam shaft and it is easy to understand because there is x housed manifold in that area and in this one in here this is then intake intake cam shaft and what we need to inspect when we are looking this cam shaft and there is only one sign is that we have to check this burn out burn out and it means that how much in these cams this material is missing and this cam is really this part in here what is this sharp head point and in here we have very nice cams what are looking in here and this is the most critical part in this cam shaft and let's go to look that area in here because this is really really interesting part in here there is really this cam shaft this cam point and this head and it is just this part in here. This is the most critical part of this cam shaft because this part purpose is to press down these valves. And let's go to look at how it happens. And when we look in that area, we can see in there this cap hat, and this is just in below of that hat in here, there is this valve's head, what makes in intake valve. And let's go to look at how this work happens. And this cam's purpose is to press down that part in here, what I am now touching in here below area. And this is our first purpose that we have to check all of these valve caps that they are moving. Like in that way, when we install our, our finger in here, this is the first step. And then we need to test that how this cam, this press, this size. And then how I rotate these cams. There is a small hexagonal area in here, in that point, And I can install my tool in here. And now I have this standard wrench. And it is about 20 2 or 23 millimeter and now I rotate this my cam and now we have to look this area in here because it press down this valve and we have to do that job in every valve in my engine and I have now in four cylinder and I have these cams valves in four valves per cylinder and I have then 16 these cap hats and cams point to, to check and inspect. And now I saw that how this inspection happens, I start to rotate this, my, this cam and carefully I can I rotate and now we can see this area and especially when it starts to press down very soon this cap in sit there down. Now we have even better view of that and this is so critical point this cams movement in here because this if this part has been like worn out one millimeter away because this steel part this head point then this valve it don't move enough deep in this piston area and that's this is so important to check and we can also measure these amounts that how what is this length in here and then we can be really sure that now this my cam is working properly and now I am moving and now when we look in that down area we can see that this cap is going down and now when I rotate that even more we can see that now this cam is pressing totally 
and now now this cam is now it is directly in this compress phase. Now we can see that this my cap is very deep in here in that point and now this is dangerous to install our finger in here because these springs are so powerful but using that my flathead screwdriver I can show that now this my this cam works very ni very nicely and it compresses really well this valve in down this is excellent and then then I rotate that my cam a little bit more and it rotates in like this this rest position and rest position means that then this cam is not pressing anything now we can see that now there is no any com this compression in here and this cam is like free and then I can even rotate this my cam in this up position in here and this is this purpose that I have to check all of these my cams that they are working in that way and then I have next step I need to find these burnouts then when I have made this compression test for all of these my cams one two and three four there are 16 of these then I need to take clean cotton cloth and this is like this burn out inspection and I have to remove all of these oil away all of these cams and then I have to look really carefully these cams because sometimes these cams can burn out and then we can see in their scratch and let's go to look those cams closer now when we look these my cars cams we can see that they looks really cool there is there is this is this new thing it is even golden that area and when we compare this all area this is really shiny no any scratches and I can say that this is really excellent condition this can and in base of that idea I have to go through all of these cams and I have to check that is there any scratches because these scratches are so big that when I touch this my cam very polished this point and shiny I can right away notice that now there is some scratch but this is really excellent no any issues and this cam works really really well and this was this my cam inspection that how to do that job okay and then what to do then if I notice that my cams they are burned out and there are scratches then I need to purchase this new camshaft and these camshafts are different in this uh, uh, exhaust manifold side and this intake manifold side but we can also use these good quality pre-used camshafts and install these in here but in that my case this looks really really good and there is no any issues in these camps